In terms of production, Tennessee whiskey is made exactly like bourbon. This means that it must have a mash bill of at least 51% corn and be aged in new charred oak containers. It cannot be distilled over 160 proof or enter a barrel over 125 proof, and it must be bottled at 80 proof or higher. However, beyond the addition of being made in Tennessee, after distillation, the new make spirit must be filtered through maple charcoal. This filtering is best known as the Lincoln County process. Originally called charcoal leaching, this process of charcoal mellowing removes some impurities after the distillation process, but before aging. While the charcoal doesn't impart any flavor on the filtered whiskey, it does mellow how it tastes, reducing the oily mouthfeel and grainy, mostly corn flavor. This allows for some of the other flavors imparted by fermentation and barrel maturation to shine. The Lincoln County process is a requirement of Tennessee whiskey according to state law. However, Pritchard's distillery is allowed an exception. But beyond the basic definition, each distillery has its own process for charcoal mellowing. Jack Daniels spends two days gravity filtering its spirit through 10 feet of charcoal in 80 individual vats. George Dickel first chills its spirit to 40 degrees Fahrenheit before steeping it in 13 feet of charcoal, and Nelson's Green Briar built its mellowing tank out of a whiskey barrel. Then the distillery sprays its spirit into the barrel, which is packed with large chunks of sugar maple charcoal. Finally, yes, Tennessee whiskey is allowed to be called bourbon, but some distilleries prefer the former designation since it's a classification that not everyone can use due to the additional location and process associated with it. To learn more about the whiskey making process, head on over to distiller.com or download the app on your mobile device.